The most battle-tested and competent army in the history of our nation is at a crossroads. For more than a dozen years of continuous war, we have served the American people with courage and commitment. However, the actions of a few in our ranks have caused some to question the honor and integrity of all of us. These crimes and acts of indiscipline undermine the public's trust in our army. But even worse is that many more in our ranks have tolerated this unprofessional and unethical behavior, choosing to turn a blind eye to it. Every member of the Army profession, regardless of rank or position, must stand strong. We must focus on our Army ethic and our values in all aspects of our lives. Will you live up to the promises you made when you took your oath and when you recite the Army values? Are you dedicated to accomplishing the mission and the welfare of our soldiers? Is this your Army? Being an Army professional is a responsibility, an opportunity, and an honor. We defend the Constitution of the United States and the people it protects. We earn the trust of the American people when we demonstrate our military expertise, our honorable service, our esprit de corps, and our stewardship of the Army profession. These essential characteristics are embedded in our culture and must be visible in our decisions and actions. We must also be committed to police those who do not live up to these characteristics. When we make the choice to be an Army professional, it cannot be words alone. We are an Army of action, so we must take action. We must stand strong. Let your actions speak for you. When we stand strong, side by side, supporting, motivating, and challenging each other, we can accomplish anything. We've done this throughout our history and we must continue to do so. To be worthy of the trust of the American people and to earn and sustain the trust of those on our left and right, we must not only be competent in what we do, we must be men and women of character, living by the Army values, doing what is right, even when no one is looking. We must also be committed to the Army, our leaders,